what is going on guys your boy Sizzle here bring you guys a photoshop tutorial on how to make your own 2d text logo which is like more than just like a 2d concept logo where it'd be like uh like a symbol or some kind of image for you guys to like get noticed by or be known for uh but 2d text logos are something cool to even like you know have for yourself or as for a signature or something cool like that or if you want to have like a 2d font and you just want to like, or a 2d banner <clears throat> where it includes having some co like cool like font or something or some type of writing and you want to make it more cooler, like a more focused, like cool look, it would be like a 2D logo as something like this. Uh, so it's like cool to even like think about. It's just like taking a cool font or a basic font or you even pen tooling your own letters out and kind of like compacting and kind of like make it more like a logo than anything else. Uh, with something like this, it's pretty cool looking. It just kind of like gives it a little cool like look to it. I really, there's just really nothing about it. But uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial and you guys learn something from this and maybe even use it for your own and maybe just continue to do something but anyways uh, so what you want to do is start off with your text tool obviously and you want to probably like boost up your text font size about 350 or so and then choose like a solid color so you can always go back to that color so anytime you edit it it'll be the same color it'll, it'll you don't have to like go back or whatever or like fill it with anything like just freaking make it the same color but uh, anyways or a solid color so you can keep on making the same color uh, so anyways you want to have a nice font like a futuristic font or some kind of like really like cool uh, just just a good variety font where it has like a little accent somewhere or something or some kind of like differential between like regular old like you know freaking Arial or like something basic but anyways fonts that I would choose from is either like would go from Velocity City or Velo or whatever freaking Velo City or whatever Velocity I think that's Velocity I'm pretty sure but and then like Venice Rising is a good one uh, all the Vermin Vibes have like a futuristic feel that's what I'm going to be using I'm going to use Vermin Vibes Redux and the uh, wild card is a really nice one also like has like a like really cool little feel to that one also uh and then even like x Roid or something and you know it's just really cool little fonts i'll put in the description below for you guys to download just in case you want to start doing this yourself uh so anyways let's get going so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna be using some random letters just to like just to show you guys so i'm gonna use e t uh or e u t o that'll, that'll work just random fonts or random letters just so I can show you guys more than just having like the same old letters because I had T-U-T-O before you like I just want to have like more letters to show you guys uh, so I'm gonna be using this so you can see right away that my letters are kind of like more separated than usual if you press control A to select everything and then control T or either just go to here uh, you see this little VA this is called a separation between like the letters uh, between like whatever letters you writ with so it would be you know default at zero so you can see how like really close and compact the letters are uh, so if you want to like put it up a little bit just so you can like either just you know Like it's like just cut out the letters easily without having any trouble Put us like 150 or something and then just go ahead and just just go <laughs> and then, then you're done But anyways, what we can do now is gonna have to make it editable so you can actually cut out the letters and Like not have it like, you know, you can go back to selecting it So to make it editable simply enough just right click on the text file and then just go to rasterize type and now if you go back to like the T or whatever you try to edit it out it won't be able to be edited because it's already like you know like a stock or whatever you want to say and so now what you want to do is you want to press M on your keyboard for your marquee tool and you want to use like a rectangle marquee tool or lasso it doesn't matter just to simply cut out the letters one by one uh, via cut right here layer via cut and right here layer via cut so what I would do just to make sure I don't get lost through my letters, I'm just gonna like simply name them. So this is E, this is U, this is T, this is O, and then you're just ready to go. So anyways, I'm just gonna hide these last two letters. I'm gonna work with the first two. So I'm gonna like zoom in really nice and close so I can like see what I'm doing here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my U and I'm gonna put it nice and close to the, the E over here. Maybe like here or something. Yeah, uh, so first of all, you wanna probably keep a little bit of space just to see uh, just to have like the logo be at least like or the letters be like, you know shown like if I put it like all the way over here It'd probably be a struggle. So I'm gonna be like alright This is an A and this is like a backwards L you probably want to keep a little bit of space between letters Just enough so you can see what the letters are so it's not like you know uh, What the hell is this? No, you can actually see and it looks better and look better. So it just looks better and look better Yeah, sure. Anyways, we're gonna start like right now. So what I would do is just basically either use rulers which is a control R for your shortcut in Photoshop which is something you probably want to like do uh, just in case just to keep like the uh, flow going so rulers just help out just so if I want to like extend this all the way through let's say if you want to extend this all the way through right you would like kind of keep this like space thing going just because it looks cool and you want to make a new layer if you're ever going to edit a layer so right now I'm editing the U so I'm going to make a new layer above the U right click fill with the same color which is that black I had 
and then you can just deselect and then you'll be able to see that if I just control R again or control H to hide uh, you can see like the E is like I would probably fix this out also I would crop this and make it look more clean or whatever but I'm just showing you the example like how the E see how the E goes through the U and like looks cool like that uh, it's just like a little accent it's just like little things you can do uh, let's say also if you wanted to like add like a little tail to the E just because you want to add something to the E just because it looks like weird or something without having like a little accent like this U has you would simply make a new layer I'll bring these rulers back really quick and go to your pen tool and then I'm just gonna make like a cool triangle I guess uh, I'm, I'm probably wouldn't do this if I was doing it but I'm just like trying to show you how to keep like a flow going uh, this probably won't help let's just oops let's just try let's just see what it looks like and that doesn't look terrible I mean you can see I'm trying to keep like that little accent flow but if you didn't want it you didn't want it but I'm just gonna keep it there just to, like give you guys more ideas on how I'm gonna be doing things uh, we can see how this E you can actually see this you can still see the E but it's just like all the way through the U and it's like stopped here and then you have this like little accent here and you have a little accent there you want to keep like some kind of like flow going so what I'm gonna do now uncheck this T and I'm gonna show you guys something else you can probably do uh, let's say now if you were to go to your W on your keyboard which is shortcut for your magic wand tool or quick selection tool you want to have your magic wand tool you want to click on the T and then you probably want to go to your U now and just let's move this little over and if you press delete on the keyboard when you're on the T and or when you're on the U and you selected the T or whatever letters you're using if you press delete you can see now that if I just move my T down just a little bit and try to put it in you can see how like the T has like its own little like cuff or like little like indention or like a cutout in the U just to have like a cool little like just a little accent I guess you can say it's like little things you can do to make it look really like like really cool um, also you can see how like this is kinda like really really far together or far apart uh, let's just like try and put it closer like as close as this you wanna keep like that flow going like I was talking about uh, like so I'm gonna like lower the opacity a little bit just so I can see where I wanna cut it out go here and delete so lowering your opacity is probably a good thing to do if you want to like fix things or whatever and just move it over just a little bit delete and then I'll put my opacity back up and then you'll see the T is good to go so you can see how like that looks that's pretty cool whatever uh, maybe I want to move the E over a little just a little bit more to see how like the spacing is between this but anyway I'm trying to show you what I'm talking about here do something like that uh, so you can still see this is a T let's say if this is like too long for you or like this tail is too long you would fix it just by like going over here and like deleting it or whatever or if you want to keep it you can keep it I mean it doesn't really matter uh, so the last letter I'm gonna be using is the O so I'm just gonna move this over I'm just shift holding it just to move it over and then I'm gonna do is gonna be basically do the same exact thing I did before I'm gonna go to my T just to like keep that flow going I'm gonna go to the O and then delete it and then oop, hold on before I do that I'm probably gonna move the O a little bit more over like so hold on there we go and then I'm gonna go to my T W O delete move the O over one like so and then it just like keeps that little flow so we have E which like all the way through the O or all the way through the U and stops here so you can still see the like the U shape uh, the E shape is really like seeable or whatever uh, we have the T right here and then the O which is like just it's just there I mean it looks cool it's something like simple it's really awesome uh, so I'm gonna do an ask probably to make a little accent on the T over here if I want to do something and continue it. I'd make a new layer above the T and then just go like this make that little tail part that we have going uh, this is like really far off actually so if I want to just fix that press control to fix the uh, the um, pen tool and have it pop up again click on this one I gotta move the ruler first control click I gotta move this ruler also god damn rulers get in the way control click shift click and then move it over about a couple or one that's good enough fill okay delete path and then you have a little accent on the T now also so it kind of looks like more like a flow going uh, when I say flow it's just basically like making everything look similar but in like a really cool fashion uh, you can see like this is what I'm talking about this is like something that you would do to like make like your text logos or even your fonts or whatever you want to do for a text like orientated banner or something look cooler or more futuristic or more like simple uh, but cool I don't know it just looks cool I mean I can't say anything else besides that um, so yeah, we have like E U T, and we started off with. I'm just gonna type it out E U T O. We started off with this, and we just made something that looks more like a logo, but also looks cool, and you can still like pick out what letters are or the text is. Uh, so anyways, this is really simple, really cool things you can do here. 
Um, you can you can also do with like you know, you know circular letters. I know this is more like boxy letters. You can also do the same thing with circular letters. You would just like kind of like uh, probably do the same thing I did with the T and the O, like how I did this over here, and then just probably add like little accents, whether it be like a triangle or some kind of circle or some kind of shape or something to keep it just the flow or keep a style going. I don't know, but it's something you have to ex like experiment with. It's really cool to even start doing this. And then by the way, when you're all done, you would uh, shift click from the top to the bottom, and then you press Control G. To group it up together, right click, make a duplicate, or control J for a shortcut. You would hide the group, you would just right click, merge group, or control E for the shortcut, and then you would basically have this to work with without you, know, you can just have this to go with, and you're just ready to go. And this would be basically like be your text or whatever. Or if you want to fix it, you would go back to your group and then fix it, and then just repeat the process of making it uh, one whole little layer. So you can just you know have this here, and then if you want to do it for a client, you probably want to keep this group also just in case they want to change something. But uh, so it's simple like this. It's something like this. You can also do for any other thing. I'm probably just going to stop rambling on because there's no reason to. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment, all that good stuff. And I'll check you guys out later. Check you guys out later. I'll see you guys later. So switch you out. Peace.